Hey guys, it's Gary Dean. Welcome to my YouTube channel. The new improved YouTube channel. Um, Detailjuice.com, wherever you're seeing this. Um, I'm working on a Tahoe today. And um, I guess I should have showed you the other side first. Notice how nice and clean that carpet is. Well, this thing is riddled with dog hair. It is, it was everywhere, including the other side. However, I have a technique that I want to show you guys that I use when I'm vacuuming up the dog hair. Now, I use the rigid five horsepower, four gallon portable vac. And I have the optional, I believe that this machine comes with a different uh, nozzle. I'm not sure, I forgot. So anyway, this is the nozzle that I have. It is a Home Depot model. Um, this nozzle actually had uh, square ends on it right here. It went out and then up. I cut it back to be angled on both sides. Notice that? When I am vacuuming dog hair, I will spin this, well, I'll angle it to the side and I'll use the one side here. You'll notice what I'm doing, if I can get my hands on it, is I will pull see if maybe I'll pull like this and I'll pull that hair from being stuck inside the carpet while it's sucking up I'm gonna turn the vacuum on and show you see all that dog hair all right so when I'm working on this I go to the side, side to side, just like this. Notice it cleaned it perfect, perfectly. Leaves no dog hair behind. It pulls the hair that's stuck in the carpet fibers out, and then the vacuum obviously sucks it up. So it's all about the technique that you use to remove it. See how easy that is? Some people go at it like this, straight on. You want to use the friction of the nozzle to pull that hair out as the nozzle is sucking the hair in. So once you uh, get it unhooked from the carpet, it sucks it right in so it doesn't go anywhere else. Um, the other thing, and that I'm positive helped with that was cutting this nozzle. So instead of it being square, I cut it so that it was equal, flat right there. That helps a lot when sucking up. I wish I had another nozzle to show you. Unfortunately, I don't. I'm actually on a mobile job right now. But uh, yeah, just cutting those tabs off the nozzle helps a whole lot with sucking up anything, random debris, whatever, but especially dog hair. So anyway, that is how I remove dog hair from carpet. Again, not rocket science, but just small little things like that can really make the difference on, you know, how fast your jobs go. And these are the little itty bitty, seemingly insignificant things that I bring to the table. And I've got probably hundreds of those little tricks that I'm gonna share with you guys on this brand new YouTube channel uh, so stay tuned anyway that is how I remove dog hair if you got any questions for me 813-846-4406 yeah do you see that it is raining now it's like a random flash storm crazy that's what we have to deal with every day in Tampa so um, 813-846-4406 
Check out DetailJuice.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. I'm getting out of the rain.